Hello, Gordon H. Beatty Middle School students, families, parents, and guardians. Thank you so much for taking the time to view this video in regards to our upcoming registration. This video will be filled with very important information. It's about 30 minutes long. And following my presentation will be a presentation from our counselors at both middle schools to walk you through the registration process, as well as talk about more school life uh, events and things going on that are very important for you to know over the next three years. So to begin, I want to share with you a quick video that will show all that we're doing on our campus and our specialized programs. Welcome to Gordon H. Beatty Middle School. We are educating, motivating, and inspiring students to achieve academic success. In the Buena Park School District, our two middle schools offer a large range of educational programs to ignite students' passion for learning. At Gordon H. Beatty Middle School, our focus for 6th through 8th grade students is STEM education, which stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. And communication in digital and multimedia art and debate. Our elective courses include robotics, medical science, coding, aviation, horticulture, feminiers, Spanish, Korean, speech and debate, digital art, video production, fine art, sports science, and leadership. We also offer a rigorous Honors Academy program that challenges our gifted and high achieving students to go into greater depths and complexity of the curriculum. Our school is equipped with the latest educational technology and classroom design to support high levels of learning. We use the number one learning management system in North America called Canvas, which is the most reliable online classroom tool and is used by 100% of Ivy League universities in the United States. Additionally, we use an app called Hero for families to see how their students are doing in their positive behavior on campus. Students are recognized with points, which are scanned into their account and used for privileges on campus. Parents can log into both of these apps to follow along with their students' progress at school. But seeing is believing. Please come by our school to schedule a visit of our amazing facility and see our incredible teachers in action and our students thriving in their middle school environment. Choose Beatty today. One of the things that's unique about transferring to middle school is our scheduling and how classes work. Now, our schedule this coming year will be what's called a four by four block schedule. The schedule you see on the screen now shows how that works out on a daily basis. So you would have four periods on one day. So period one, period two, then a break, then period three, then you'd go to lunch, and then you'd have your fourth period class. Then the following day, you would do the other four classes, period five, period six, break, period seven, lunch, and then your eighth period at the end of the day. That is called a four by four block schedule, and we're gonna be teaching you more about that, but it's gonna open up a lot more opportunity for you, which I'll show you here on the next screen. So in the four by four block schedule, you would have five core classes that all students are required to take, and that would be an English class, a math class, science class, a history class, and a PE class. Followed by those five core subject areas would be one class that's called an elective class. And these are our classes that um, fall outside those areas. Now that in the four by four block, it leaves two additional classes. So class number one and class number two could be support classes, could be additional elect elective classes, uh, or other required classes that you'll go through between sixth and eighth grade. Now, what elective classes do we have at Gordon H. Beatty Middle School? Our passion programs and electives are in uh, three categories. The first category would be our STEM elective, science, technology, engineering, and math electives. They include robotics, 
coding, which is the language of all things um, computer related and how they operate. We have a new course called Aviation, where we study the science of aviation, uh, as well as have um, simulators here on campus that will allow you to learn to fly. We have a Femineers course, which is designed to encourage our female students to enter into the STEM fields. We have a horticulture class, which is the study of the science of uh, plant life. We have CAD, which is, stands for Computer Aided Drawing. Um, so we have purchased uh, 3D printers that uh, students would make a design and then see that come to life on those 3D printers. And then we offer a Project Lead the Way class called Medical Science. Um, and uh, this is where you explore how um, the STEM fields interact with the medical field. Our other passion program is our communication and digital media. So those classes, those elective classes would be our digital art and graphic design class where students use professional grade Adobe software to design digital images. We have our video production class, which surrounds all things of making video, editing, lighting, sound, production, pre-production, post-production, which then transfers into our journalism and yearbook courses. The journalism and yearbook courses will take those skills from video production and digital art to the next level in creating our, our digital newspaper, as well as our digital yearbook at the end of the year. We also offer fine art, which is drawing and painting, as well as an advanced level of that. And then our speech and debate program. This is a high level communication uh, where students learn to argue and debate with facts and research, uh, learning both sides of an argument, um, and then competing in our Orange County Debate League. We have uh, been past champions of this program, so it's a, one of our highly rated programs here on our campus. Then in the area of communication, as well as kind of crossover areas between communication and STEM, uh, we offer Spanish language class, Korean language class. We'll be offering a sports science class, aerobic fitness, a leadership course for students as they get into seventh and eighth grade, and then a music course, which is orchestra, which is stringed instruments. And then by eighth grade, students will take a health uh, class. So these are the elective and program offerings um, here at Gordon H. Beatty Middle School. When it comes to your core classes, these are the required courses all students must take. In mathematics, we offer sixth, seventh, and eighth grade common core math, which is pre-algebra. But for our students that really love math and want to go deeper, we offer in sixth grade an advanced math course, which combines all three of those into one, which would prepare you by seventh grade to take our Honors Academy Algebra course. This is a full-blown high school level algebra course. We also will give you a test just to make sure you have all those pre-algebra skills in place before going into that class. If you successfully complete that class by eighth grade, you'll be eligible for our Honors Academy Geometry class. Students that successfully complete this pathway will be able to, by their senior year, get into the highest level math offered in the, our local high school district. The next core class is English Language Arts. So all students are also required to take this class. It's offered in sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. As well for some of our students that require more assistance with developing their English language skills, we offer an English language development class and it'll help them master the English language. For students that love English language and want to really challenge themselves, we have our Honors Academy English as well for sixth, seventh, and eighth graders. If students are in need of additional reading support, they would have a class called Read 180, which would support their reading skills. The next two core courses are science and history. So there are sixth, seventh, and eighth grade science classes that are required and sixth, seventh, and eighth grade history classes. As well, for those students that love science and history, we offer an Honors Academy course, which goes into greater depth and complexity in those subject areas. And lastly, your fifth core course is physical education, and all students are required to take physical education all through middle school. Some of our special programs we have on campus are our Honors Academy, our Speech and Debate, which I've talked about already, and our STEM Pilot Program. This is our, aviation, our new aviation program that you can see in the video playing on the side here, where you will actually learn to fly in a real-life simulator that will put you up 
uh, into the air with real life uh, information going on. The weather would be like, the weather would be outside, the planes that are in the sky would be similar to the planes that are flying out, um, and you can select all sorts of different aircraft to learn to fly. The class will also go into what the science of aviation is, as well as uh, other careers related to that. We'll also have an athletics program where students compete against other uh, schools in basketball, uh, volleyball, football, track and field, and soccer. After school, we have our Titan ACES program that supports our students um, in the after school hours. We also will compete in academ academic pentathlon where students uh, tr train and practice in all the different core subject areas and then compete against other schools. And then we do our robotics competitions. Uh, we use VEX robotics kits in our robotics class. And so we will be participating in VEX robotics tournaments. Now communication changes in the middle school because you go from having one teacher to by the time you're in eighth grade, possibly eight different teachers. But we do that slowly. So in sixth grade, you would be assigned one main teacher who would oversee your uh, core classes. And then you would also see a PE teacher and an elective teacher. So you'd have three teachers in sixth grade. And then in seventh grade, you would move up to the uh, six or seven different teachers. Another way that p communication is handled in middle schools, because you'll have multiple teachers, you'll get multiple information from different teachers on the things going on in class. And we use ParentSquare. And so we expect all of our families, 100% of our families, to be connected to that. If you have a need to, to know how to use that, please contact our office or our counselors who'd be glad to help you uh, set that up. You'll also receive report cards eight times a year, one each quarter and then one in between the middle of a quarter. We send out a progress report for our students that may have Ds or Fs in class to know that they're in that situation and to get that support and help to get out of that situation by the time the quarter report card comes out. We also use an app called Canvas where it organizes all of the students' learning and information for their course all in one place, and that will always be accessible on the student's iPad. Parents know that when uh, they get connected to Canvas, you can also get connected. HERO is another program that measures the positive behavior of our students on campus. The students will be able to check that they're earning points, and parents can also log in to that app to see how your student's doing at school. We will also keep our website up to date. We have a YouTube channel with special videos and announcements that come out, as well as our social media platforms. Every student will be given a student agenda, which is an actual paper agenda that they'll write down their assignments and tests and important things coming up. It doesn't run out of batteries or crash, so it's just our backup to our Canvas program. We also have parent organizations that uh, you can get connected with. We have a PTSA, we have a school site council, and an English Learner Advisory Committee that'll help you stay in the know on what's going on with your student while they're in middle school. And then we host parent workshops throughout the year on how to use a lot of these systems and just how to understand adolescence during their middle school years. And in the end, if you need information, please always call our school office or walk in any time. We're here to support you and your students. It's a tough period of time, but it's an exciting, fun uh, period of time. And your students may be nervous about making this switch to middle school, uh, but with uh, the first few weeks of school under their belt, they'll be smiling and happy and wish they uh, could have gone to middle school earlier. So some important dates that are coming up that we're hoping to continue with. We're looking to do a tour on campus February 26th at 3 p.m. It'll be appropriately socially distanced, but I do want to get families and even students on campus uh, that day. But please pay attention to Parent Square for announcements about that. If it's still not safe to do that, we won't uh, continue that. But we do want to start this process of getting our students ready for middle school. So registration packets should have gone out to you. That's hopefully how you're watching this video um, through Parent Square. They went out uh, on February 22nd and as well to the fifth grade classes in their uh, Seesaw um, accounts. Registration materials and applications will all be due by March 1st and the online registration form will open up on the 26th. We will conduct fifth grade student tours pending reopening for in-person instruction. If it's safe to do so during the school day, we will have a group of kids that will come on campus to walk through our classrooms and see us um, running and functioning like a middle school prior to them starting here. But again, that is all pending our current um, conditions with COVID-19. 
Just a little bit about the programs that we use on campus in our STEM area. We use TechSmart, which is our coding program, VEX for robotics, our STEM pilot is our partner for our aviation courses, and Project Lead the Way uh, for our medical science class. And then Cal Poly Pomona is our partner for our FEM and EARS program. Under our communication and digital media, we use the Adobe suite of professional software for our graphic design class. We use uh, SNO sites for our journalism digital newspaper. And uh, we work with in the Orange, or we compete in the Orange County Debate League for our speech and debate. And we have a wonderful partnership with the Foundation for Korean Language and Culture uh, that has supported our Korean language classes. Here's what our classes look like at the middle school level in seventh and eighth grade. Uh, you can see the furniture is quite different than in elementary school. It's very collaborative. It's about working together and communicating with one another. Of course, this is prior to COVID-19 safety uh, systems being put into place. And then our sixth grade classes uh, will look like this. This is a sixth grade class that has the PPE on the desk uh, for our return to in-person. Uh, so this is a, a classroom for sixth grade. We're also building a brand new locker room and uh, physical education classroom space on campus that will begin at the end of this school year and should be completed at the beginning of next school year. Uh, so that'll be a brand new space for our students to change out in our locker rooms. Our field has also changed dramatically from being an elementary school. We've taken out the playground, installed basketball courts, and uh, we have a nice large field to do our uh, soccer and other uh, football and activities out there. Students that uh, want to ride their bike, scooter, or skateboard to school have lockers that are available uh, for them to lock up their scooters and skateboards, as well as their bikes. And uh, our lunch area is in between the library and the main building and office. Uh, we have tables that are set out, and we also have umbrellas that students uh, use. This is what it looked like while we were uh, returning to in-person instruction this first school year. And then here's our students that uh, are working with our VEX robotics uh, platform. These are the robots that are developed to, to compete against other teams in our robot um, battle arena, which you'll see here in this picture. And each year the items inside that arena change, the, the challenge changes, and so the robots have to change and adapt and the students have to work together to, to build those systems that will help earn points in the game. This is our STEM lab, and in the STEM lab is also our aviation simulators. We have 10 aviation simulators uh, that students will be using for our STEM aviation program. Here's what this program looks like. Um, you'll hear the excitement of the students in the background as uh, this is just the very first time a student's getting on a simulator and working with it. Here's our past debate teams who have been very successful in the Orange County Debate League. And what's also great about middle school and our 4 by 4 block schedule, there's lots of times to do a science labs. So here's an example of a student doing a, a frog dissection um, in our science classes. We also have a very large uh, meeting space. This is our Bronco Auditorium where we'll do awards and other presentations. And our students will be given um, the latest uh, iPad technology in their hands in order to complete the work um, that's asked of them in their classes. So welcome new incoming parents and students. We are so glad you're uh, going to be joining us and we look forward to really an exciting next three years in your journey in middle school and preparation for high school. Hello parents, welcome to middle school. I am Jody Radinkius, the school counselor over at the Gordon H. Beatty School. And I'm Esther Park, I'm one of the counselors at Buena Park Middle School. So we're gonna just kind of guide you through some middle school basics for parents. We'll talk about student life, middle school events, how to help your child be successful in middle school, parent homeschool communications, as well as how to register for their classes. Just in general, I wanted to share with you that student life, we have different school hours, which is a little later, 8.40 a.m. to 3.10 p.m. There's generally four minute passing periods in a normal in-person setting. There are PE lockers that are gonna be built um, over at Beatty. 
but are already in place at the beautiful gym at the Buena Park Middle School. And students will be changing into their PE clothes for their class period. Lunchtime, we have a variety of options for food, pizza, tacos, chicken. This is the stuff that the kids are more excited about. We will generally have one or two lunch periods, depending on the number of students at each campus. And we have lunchtime activities generally hosted by clubs and leadership students. We have classes that are called periods, so first period, second period, and we're actually going to start a new block schedule. And it's a block schedule is four by four, meaning you have four classes one day and four classes another day, giving your student a lot of opportunities for elective classes and support. We do have a dress code that you can look at on our websites. And just please know that no electronics are allowed other than that iPad that we assign. So cell phones are to be off and out of sight. Students will have plenty of opportunity to hang out with friends during break, a 10 minute break and 40 minute lunch. We do have clubs on campus, and that is something that I would really encourage you to have your students get involved because the more involved a student is on campus, the more engaged they are in school. Middle school events. So we have lots of fun activities in middle school. We have the after school dances, celebration of awesome, which celebrates the students positive behavior. Triple R picnics are done for new students by leadership students to kind of invite students, welcome students to school. We have teacher versus student sporting activities and events. We have astronomy night and there's music theater performances, speech contests, student store that students can buy a variety of different things using their stallion points or their hero points. We have awards assemblies as well as promotion dance and ceremony that will be in three years from now if you are a fifth grader. There are a few things that students need to bring every day in order to come prepared. The first is the charged iPad. Make sure that your child is charging their iPad the night before and placing it in their backpack so they don't forget it in the morning. Bring in a charger as well as their student lanyard, which the students will be issued one once they get to their school. Three ring binder with divider tabs, pens, pencils, highlighters, their student agenda to keep track of uh, homework assignments and any other important events, as well as paper and notebooks, book to read for fun, and of course, that great attitude for learning. The next step I want to talk to you about is how to be, how you help your child be successful in middle school. The number one thing that we get as counselors that students need help with is being organized. And so the way you can help your child get organized is make sure that they're using their student agenda. Check it every night, you know, and see what you have, what do you got to do today? There are three ring binder with divider tabs for each of the subjects, even maybe folders for each class that you can open up. Um, and put any papers, um, but we are generally mostly paperless at this point using the iPad. As well as uh, in the iPad, we have an app called Notability and any other documents would be very helpful to make sure that they are organized in different folders by the subjects to hopefully eliminate losing it. Time management is a very important piece as well. So encouraging your child to use their school time to complete work, as well as designating a time to study and do homework at home would be very helpful for your child. Providing them a place to study that's free from distractions and have all the supplies ready would be also very helpful. Insist on good attendance, encouraging your child that they need to uh, be in school and be present is, is also very helpful. Developing a morning and nighttime routine that ensures that your child is getting enough sleep Monitor that technology use. Um, how much time are they on it? What apps are they using? So, and also what social media accounts do they have? That's really important that you are in the know of what your child is doing on these devices. Set goals with your child, encouraging whether it's getting a specific set of grades and classes, or maybe that you have all your homework done by eight o'clock. Whatever the case might be, it's good to have your children learn how to set goals and accomplish them. It builds their self-esteem. Continuously remember to monitor those grades. We have Canvas now, and I believe fifth graders are using it at this point. And it's really gonna help 
with being knowing where they are at this point in time. Helping your child develop good study habits is also very important. So that would be maybe helping them organize and prioritize their homework. So you can make a list of what needs to be done, prioritize what is most important, perhaps by the due date or perhaps by how much, how many points it's worth, and maybe even encouraging them to uh, complete difficult assignments first. So that way when they're more fresh and alert, that might be helpful. Emphasize the importance of keeping up. I can't tell you how many times we've got a lot of students that fall behind in homework where there's 30 to 50 assignments that are missing. And at that point, it's really kind of too late to try to get caught up because that's very overwhelming and causes enormous amount of stress on our students. So um, really making sure that they are keeping up with their homework, their reading assignments, any projects, that would be very helpful. And more importantly, is teach and encourage your child to ask for help whenever it's needed. If someone, if a student is confused about an assignment, they're more likely to not complete that assignment than if they understand how to do it. Now we're gonna talk about communicating with your child, as well as what are some general student concerns about moving on to middle school. Some of those concerns include changing classes, getting lost on campus, being late to class, having someone to sit with at lunch, dressing out for PE, having various peer relationships, classes that are challenging, and even just the amount of schoolwork that they're, they're gonna be receiving. So with that, it's important more than ever that you are present there for your child and communicating with them. Even though they're getting older, they still need you. Be available to listen. Recognize that your child's concerns are valid, that what they're feeling is valid, as opposed to telling them they shouldn't feel that way. Ask open-ended questions like, how was your, instead of how was your day, you can say, tell me about your day. What did you do today? Pay attention to nonverbal communication because at this age, they're still trying to figure out the words to express themselves. All right, so I'm gonna be talking about parent communication. So this is how we communicate with you what is happening at our school. The main way that we communicate with you all is through Parent Square. Hopefully all of you have already downloaded Parent Square and are using it, but if not, please make sure to do that today. So Parent Square is the app that we use to send you updates, talk about school events. This is also where you can contact staff members, teachers, and this is also where we send report cards and progress report cards. So we do not mail home and report cards. It is all through Parent Square. On the right side here, you can see that these are all the things that you can do on Parent Square. So again, this is the main platform that we use. So please make sure that you are using and downloading Parent Square. We also use marquees, which are outside our campus. And we also use a program called HERO. So HERO is a program that tra tracks positive and negative behaviors of students. And with those points, students can buy things from our stores with their points. We also use Canvas. So Canvas is a program where students look at their assignments, where they communicate with their teachers, where teachers grade the assignments. So this is where you could see the most current grades. And it is updated usually around once a week by the teachers. And you can contact teachers through Canvas as well. And so you can see all of your child's grades, missing assignments, points, the points that they got for tests all on Canvas. We also do have school websites and social media websites for our schools. And we also give students agendas, which hopefully they're using. It is where students should be writing in their assignments so they know what to work on each day. And so here is an example of Canvas. So again, Canvas is on your student's iPad. And on the right side is an example of what it will look like to see all of their classes. So all of their classes will be listed and then you would be able to see all of the percentages for each of their classes. And then when you click on a class, it gives you more details, which you could see on this left side. So on this left side here, it lists all of the assignments, quizzes, the points that they got for the assignments and the quizzes, and also the total points that they have. So meaning their total grade right now for that class. 
So this year, all of our registration forms are going to be online. We will have some printed forms as well at all school sites, but all registration forms will be available online. And there is a separate link for Buena Park Middle School and for Beatty. And so we will be sharing this PowerPoint slide with you with these clickable links so that you could find these links easily. And all of the elective applications for the electives that need application will also be online and we will have paper copies for those as well. Okay, so I'm going to go over filling out the online elective request form. And so when you click on the elective request form, it will look like this. And so I'm going to show you what it looks like here. So here, here is the uh, top of it. And it looks a bit long because we do have English and Spanish on it. And so you would fill out this form. We highly suggest you filling this form out with your student. So you and your student looking at this form together. And then you'll select your grade, type in the student's ID, or uh, also known as the lunch number. I'm just using this as a test. Students, uh, first name, last name, birthday, current school. If you are not attending our school, your home middle school, please select other and then the reason why. And then you would select your grade and then click next. And so here, these are the electives that you and your child can go over and select together. So the first one is the top elective that they would like. And so you would choose different electives for each of these options. And please pay attention to the fact that some of them say that you either have to have taken a previous class already or that there are applications needed. For those programs that need applications, there is a separate form, not on this form, but a separate link that will be provided to you that does give you that application. And so you would click on it, all, all of the classes that your child will like. And then if you're applying to the Honors Academy, you would click yes here, click next, and then this takes you to the Honors Academy section. And so here we list the program requirements. And again, it's in Spanish as well. And then you would click on all of the classes that your child would be applying for. And so here it's saying that you understand the requirements of the Honors Academy and that you authorize the school to look at information for your child to recommend them for the Honors Academy. And then after that, here is a parent and student signature portion. This part is just you agreeing to that these are the electives that you and your student chose. And your signature indicates that you understand that electives are subject to change based on av availability. And so you would type in your student's name here and parent's name goes here. So I'm just gonna put test. Okay, and that's the end of the form. Here you can see um, our information for Beatty. It'll be Beatty's information listed for Buena Park Middle School is the Buena Park Middle School phone number that is listed. And then you would press submit. So we do ask that you only submit one form, but if you do mess up or you change your mind and you need to submit another form, that is fine. We will accept your newest form. So we will just look at the newest form that you submit. And so here, this is just what I went over. So this is for you to um, select your electives with your student. Again, discuss with your student what electives that they would like. But just to review, students have to have a 3.0 or higher. They are expected to exhibit positive honors behavior and have a positive attitude for learning. And we also do look at academic honesty as well. So here are the programs that require applications. So again, this is a separate application that is needed and there will be links available and also paper copies as well for those of you who will be filling this out on paper. So for Gordon Beatty Middle School, there will be an application needed for Femineers, speech and debate, video production, journalism, yearbook, leadership, and the honors Academy application, like you just saw, there is not a separate link. It is within the actual elective form. 
For Buena Park Middle School, we will need an application for Femin Years, for AVID, Honors Academy, there isn't a separate link, it's within the actual elective form, but there is a separate form for leadership, which is for current seventh graders applying for eighth grade only. And for journalism, the journalism link is going to be found online at www.journalism.club. Journalism is not an elective, it is a club, and so their form will be found on that website. And so that is our registration process. If you have any questions, please feel free to call our office. The Beatty office is 714-523-1160. And the Buena Park Middle School office is 714-522-8491. Our front office will be happy to answer any questions you have. And you can, of course, reach out to us as well. I'm Esther Park, and my partner was Jody Redinkius. And we look forward to having your students next year. Bye.